On the Brazilian set of The Expendables out August 13th, Vintage Stallone. But then, in a brutal smackdown with pro wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin, the stunt goes too far. Okay, cut! The injury is serious. The star, also the movie's director, has a broken neck. He keeps telling me, Steve, bring it. You know, and I'm like, man, when's this guy gonna stop? The footage, as seen in the documentary Inferno, debuting on Epics, shows how far Stallone goes to make his movie realistic. But the accident sends him to the hospital. You can see his spinal cord, first of all, is compromised here. A disc is pushing against Sly's spinal canal. Paralysis is definitely part of the informed consent for this operation. He's got to just get home and be operated on right away. Stallone's surgery was a success. But were there warning signs that the stunts were too aggressive? Injuries were almost a daily occurrence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His hand cut, his head also bleeding. That hurts. Often on set, wife Jennifer and three daughters. That was awesome. <laughs> but the first serious accident came early on when Austin and Sly went at it. A pain pierces through Sly's leg. Give me ice, give me ice, give me ice. Ice, ice, ice Adam, ice. What happened, Dad? You got it hurt his leg really badly. It's just constant bombardment. It was just tough because you don't have a big budget. 